Alright, I am back with another Destiny 2 video. I need a haircut. Man, it's been a long time. Not really a priority, but <laughs> uh, anyway, we are back one day ahead of Guardian Games here. Not expecting anything too wild from Guardian Games. Uh, that SMG looks like it's farmable and like could be a good idea to get a few good copies of that. Uh, but besides that, I don't know. I'm probably not going to be grinding it super hard or anything. Eevee is here to uh, chew on some loud toys, perhaps. <laughs> and um, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll come back for Guardian Games just to see how it is. I'm, I'm kind of curious about the playlist buffs and modifiers and things. But uh, most of the focus is on next season at this point, which we know almost nothing about in terms of the actual kind of story and substance. We know like we're getting a dungeon. We know there's an Iron Banner rework. And then they've been listing off kind of random weapons that are, are coming for playlists and nightfalls and things. Uh, but besides that, don't know the story. And fundamentally, we still don't technically know whether we're getting Solar 3.0 or Arc 3.0. Uh, but we are getting one of them. And I have made pretty clear that I believe we are getting Solar 3.0 based on both evidence and like some... There's been a lot of leaks of like questionable validity, but most like all of the leaks trend in that direction uh whether they're they're fake or real it remains unclear but um i did want to kind of cover my bases here and talk about if there is any evidence for kind of arc 3.0 coming instead uh looking over the solo 2.0 evidence like there's not a ton like there is some but it's not like overwhelming or something so uh there are a few things in the arc column that people have brought up to me that i wanted to go through um, there's not not a whole bunch, but it is kind of at least similar to some extent to some of the arc things we've seen. Uh, in terms of arc 3.0, we have heard explicitly from Kevin Yanes, the uh, sandbox designer, that they were testing arc 3.0 concepts with the synaptic spear. Uh, for those of you who are not really playing the season like that much, the synaptic spear is the thing you pick up that you need to kill the Savathun clones. It's the only thing that can kill the Savathun clones. Um, the experiments there are things like a dramatically, you know, there's really increased movement speed, uh, longer slide, higher jump, um, the blink teleport ability, uh, the double blink that you get from that. Uh, those are all kind of ideas relating to the speed idea of ARC, which is what they've talked about in the past is going to be a focus of ARC 3.0, uh, speed, fast attacks, and then things we already know like chain lightning. So there is some evidence that because that is an explicit test for R3.0, maybe R3.0 is coming next season. But I feel like you wouldn't really even get all of the data for that until the season was over. So that almost might be more evidence for it launching the season after that. Because whatever's not whatever's not coming next season is coming the season after that. And I think we're back to just three month seasons now. So it's not that long of a wait. So they're not taking breaks. Uh, they will take a break after this. And then maybe we'll get our fifth subclass with uh, Lightfall. But that's a story for another day. Uh, in terms of other kind of things they're doing related to arc in the giant giant weapons twab there was not a ton of stuff but there was um one interesting thing i noted with cold heart and they are now making it so cold heart generates ionic traces and for those of you who don't play warlock ionic traces are these little like streams of light that uh I think it's on kill or i think it's on kill um they will like trail back to you and I believe the Warlock Ionic Traces can re can increase your super, but also your ability energy. I think it's random. Some Warlock I am. Um, <laughs> these ones say that they will only uh, increase ability energy. So it's possible that the Arc 3.0 rework of that both is changing that to be ability energy only, not su super energy. I feel like someone's going to fact check me and I'm wrong that it gives super energy. But uh, so And it will be something that is potentially available to all classes, not just Warlocks. Um, if they're giving it to a neutral weapon, it stands to reason that like maybe it works like shards, you know, stasis, stasis shards uh, that um, get melee energy back for a couple of the classes. These ionic traces could be something that is intrinsic to R3.0 and that is something that is going on all three classes. It being mentioned here could be setting up uh, something in Arc 3.0 next season. Um, the other Arc exotic getting a buff, the only other Arc exotic getting a buff is Edge of Concurrence, the Hunter Glaive, which in addition to general glade buffs is getting a triple damage uh, output increase and they are doing something with the chain lightning that increases it from four to eight uh, that might just be for that weapon it also could be you know prepping larger chain lightning changes to r3.0 uh, and making 
I don't know, making chains more volatile or things like that. R2.0 is going to be pretty hard to top in terms of chaining uh, explosive volatile things together. So they might need to be doing some work on arc to make sure you're not just like chaining to one or two enemies. It's chaining to like a whole group of, en of enemies for a lot of damage. Um, I think chaining to eight enemies is a lot more than anything does currently, whether it's uh, a, a move or whether it's like Trinity Ghoul or things like that. So I am curious to see what happens with that. Again, since that's being done now, you could say it's evidence arcs coming next season. We'll see. Uh, and then finally, the only exotic that we know about for next season for sure appears to be Trespasser, which is an arc sidearm. Uh, so some people are saying that because that's an arc weapon, that could indicate uh, it could come with a new arc power, and that would be next season. I don't know if that's the most airtight of evidence, given that none of the exotics we got in, uh, at least the weapon exotics we got for Witch Queen and Void 3.0 were really kind of geared toward Void 3.0, other than obviously um, the uh the raid exotic which is so iconic i can't even remember the name of it right now <laughs> um it that synergized pretty heavily with void 3.0 but i kind of doubt that trespasser is going to fundamentally transform into some like chain lightning generating thingamajig or something i i it means possible trespasser is mainly just about like being really accurate and like really i think it had like quick draw on it and like it has a lot of airborne accuracy which is how it leaked in the first place because it was accidentally in the japanese twab uh, that just seems to me like a, like a dueling weapon and it being arc is kind of incidental rather than being intrinsic to its nature. So again, I'm not sure if that's the most uh, convincing evidence here. I will say the solar evidence isn't like a ton. Um, the main point that I kept bringing up was that in the TWAB, they had a lot of references to burn Prometheus lens and um, Skybender's Oath are both getting burns that seem like they will proc burn related you know solar 3.0 things uh la monarch specifically had its damage type change from burn to poison so you cannot proc uh burn related things on this void weapon that seems like something that would be direct preparation for next season um it was also brought up that there was a a listing of a hunter build about airborne accuracy i think maybe it was flinch i don't remember but um how it was a hunter with stoppies but also tempered uh what is it called tempered steel tempered metal like tempered metal um, which is a Titan solar perk. Uh, so that could indicate that that could be a, become a neutral perk that is open up for everything, except also tempered metal is something you can give to your allies. So it's not out of the realm of possibility to think that a hunter could get tempered metal from an allied Titan. So I don't know if that's, you know, firmly concrete evidence there. Uh, so I, there's not like super, super hard evidence in one direction or the other. I still, my gut tells me it's solar all the burn changes being made makes me think it's solar. Um, and I don't really read necessarily the evidence I just listed here as being as strong evidence for arc 3.0 coming next season as solar, but it is there. Like it is something that's been brought up by people and I did want to kind of discuss it. Um, and we'll see. I Lord knows I've been wrong before. So if I'm putting all my eggs in the solar 3.0 basket, there is certainly a higher than zero chance that it might be arc 3.0 instead. I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me. I'm excited uh, either way for um, either of the 3.0 elements to get here. Void 3.0 was one of my, my highlights of the whole kind of past season here, and I'm, I'm eager to get a hold of either of these. Still think it's going to be solar, but, you know, there's some rival evidence if you want to read into it that way. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later. Take care.